Alright, so I haven't made one of these videos in a long time. Um, today, I'm going to be doing another collection video, and this time it is going to be about all my dumb phones, aka my slide phones, my flip phones, and um, other phones like that that aren't Android or iOS, I will have in this little thing here. This is only from that drawer right there. Um, I'm just going to be going kind of drawer to drawer so that I know where to put stuff back when I'm done. Um, but yeah, this is all from just that one drawer over there. That is kind of crazy, actually. But yeah, um, I guess let's get started. Not all of these are going to be charged, by the way. Um, but I will attempt to power on any of them that I know or that I think will work. Anyways, first up, we have this Motorola... Uh, what what is this? I don't even know what this... Oh, V265. Works, but doesn't have a battery on it. We have this little Samsung phone, which works. Uh, it's a... SGHT659. And it works. I don't think it has a charge, but I will see. Let's see. No, it does not. So, let me put the back cover back on that one. Put all those to the side. This is a really crappy Pantech phone. I mean, it probably wasn't crappy before a dog destroyed it or something, because this looks like a dog got to this. I don't know. I can't get the battery out, and it's honestly garbage anyways, but... Yeah. This is in uh, Samsung Intensity 2. And it has a lot of issues. It's basically just a uh, parts phone. But if... Does this fit? Oh, it does go to this. Okay. Does this one turn on? No, it does not. Okay. But it works. It just has a bunch of issues. This is a Samsung... I don't know, and I don't feel like getting the back off of it, but it may say it when it turns on. I don't remember. But it works, and it does not say it. So I'm just going to turn it off because I don't have two hands to... um. Okay, well, let me turn you off then. I don't have two hands to uh, be able to take this off the back cover because it has a lock on it. Um, but yeah, there it is. Here's another one of those T659s. Works. Back cover to something. Uh, I don't know where it went. Here's a, a UT Starcom phone. I don't know how to get this off. Alright, well, it's staying on. It's garbage anyways, and it's locked. Here's a Kyocera, uh, what, I don't remember what this is, but it works. I think this one's charged. No, it's not. Okay. Well, it is a Kyocera Jax, and it works. Like I said before, I guess the battery is starting to bloat, which kind of sucks because it wasn't when I got it, but whatever. doesn't matter. This, goodbye. Uh, I have two of these. This is an LG, what is it? CU720, is that the model number? I can't really tell, but that's what it says right there. Um, it works, it just doesn't have a battery. Here's the other one. This one is missing its entire front, but it does work. And it may turn on right now, I don't know. Uh, no, it will not. I charged up some of the better phones, by the way, which I will get to in a bit. But yeah, this is a, uh, what is this, a Panasonic phone? AudioVox. It's an AudioVox CDM9900. It works, it just needs a battery. Here's this cool little Nokia phone. Actually, no, this wasn't the cool one. Never mind. Um, no, the uh, cool one is somewhere else. But anyways, uh, yeah, this thing is really beaten up. I don't remember where I got this, but... Yeah. <laughs> it works, though, surprisingly. But yeah, it's a piece of garbage. Here's this little AudioVox phone. It is an AudioVox... Where did the battery go? I don't know, but... It's an AudioVox 9155 GPX. And I don't know if it works, because I don't have a charger for it. And I also don't have the battery for it anymore, I guess. Here's this really, really thin Samsung phone. It's like as thin as the S9. It's really weird. But it's a... Samsung SGH T519, and it works. I used to have a battery for it, but I don't know where it went, unfortunately. But it is a pretty cool little phone. 
Um, but yeah. Here's a uh, Motorola Razr V3. I don't know what model this is, but this might be one of the working ones that I have. I don't remember. But I kind of like switched parts around to um, with all my other Razors to try and get one that fully works because I don't have one that fully works. And maybe this is one that works. I don't really remember, but there it is. Nokia. This is a 2610B. doesn't have a battery. Here's this Samsung phone. This is a SPH M300, and it works. It might have a charge. I don't know. Guess we will have to see, because I didn't charge it. I actually thought this would have a charge, but maybe it doesn't. And no, it doesn't, surprisingly. Motorola phone, piece of garbage. I don't even know what it is, but it's really garbage, honestly. Here's another Motorola phone. This one ran Windows. It's very dirty. Also, I can't get that battery out, so it's staying in there. I forgot how hard it is to get that battery out, by the way. Um, but it used to work, except it had a bad LCD, and then um, it fell, and it broke the LCD even more. Like, before the backlight was out, but now the entire thing is broken, so. Here's this uh, Pantech. I don't know. I have another one right here. While that one's turning on, I'll just look at the thing on the other one. It's a P7040P, right? Yeah, that's a weird model number, but uh, both of these work. This one does not read Sims, but it still works. And this is the one that I ran over with my mom's car. Here's this Sanyo phone. It is an SP... Yeah, I don't remember what it is. What are you talking about? SCP-8100S, or just 8100. I don't know. But it works. It's just dead. I know that for a fact. Here's this little Motorola phone. I have like a million of these. It's a 120C. Motorola 120C. And it works. Oh, it says it right there too. I forgot. It works. Just dead. Here's this little Altel 5135. It works. It's just, it has a very bad ribbon cable in it. It looks like something straight out of the 80s, like, honestly. Or like a, a kid's toy or something. I don't know. It's really, really weird looking. Here's this LG. It works. It's just dead, I think. Oh, wrong button. I don't know what it is, and I can't get that back off with two hands. Or, with one hand. I don't have two hands because I'm using one to hold the camera. Anyways, Motorola. Uh, this one is easy to get off, but, or is it? I don't know. Come on. There we go. It is a Motorola C1681. I don't know, but it works. It's just dead, probably. So, yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, no, it's not. It works. Just really crappy screen. Here's this old Nokia. It's a, um, I don't know what that is because it's actually kind of ripped off. Weird. But it works. It has an LCD screen. I have another one of those that has a black and white screen instead of an LCD screen. But this is a Nokia 1100B. Works. Looks like an old CRT TV, kind of, you know? This. SPH A660 works, broken hinge, and it's also busted up at the top right here. Um, and it also has no battery. Here's this crappy little LG. It is an LG 440GB, works, piece of garbage. Here's another one on Cricut, also works, still a piece of garbage. Here's the uh, Samsung phone I ran over with. My mom's car, uh, it's an SGH C417, and it is destroyed. Still works, though. But, but it's still destroyed, so. Here's my first phone, an SGH 10, oh, uh, what is this? This is a GTE 1080W. I almost called it an SGH E 1080W or something. But yeah, it works, it just needs a battery in it. Here's a similar phone but a lot newer, and it is a SGHT 
199 it works. Here's this LG phone. I don't know. It's garbage. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting that battery up. The battery in this thing is a pain to get out. Here is a Sony Ericsson, um, which looks like it has a burnt back, which is really weird. I don't know if someone just held their lighter up to it or something, but it's a Z500A, and it works, but it has a very, very bad battery, and I don't have a charger for it, so it's obviously dead. Here's this thing. It has a bad speaker. It is a SGHT239. Works, other than the bad speaker. Here's another one of those uh, 120Cs. It works. This one's on track phone. And here's my last 120C. Um, this one works, and it's on singular. This is a... I don't know. It's an SCHR375G, not G, C. Sorry, read that wrong. This battery's bloating too. What the heck, man? Here's an Alcatel one-touch flip phone thing. I don't know. It's like the cheap version of the, um, whatever other one that has Wi-Fi or whatever. I don't know. But it works, as you can see. Here's a, another really crappy intensity too. This one's stuck in this position. That is weird. Ah, there we go. But it's missing the keyboard. And it's dead. Here's a Sanyo phone that might power on, I don't know. No, it does not. Crappy. Another Motorola Razor with a shot screen, I guess. Works. Actually, no, this one is dead. This one is the one that is completely dead, I think, so. Yeah, that's wonderful. This is a Sanyo, I don't know, a VI2300. And it works, it's just dead. Here is this thing. It is very weird. It is a, what is this? A ca Casio. has a shattered screen, but it works still. And it's like a swivel camera type thing with a, an actual camera on the back. 5.1 megapixels. <laughs> um, this Motorola. This is a pain in, in the butt to get off. It doesn't work. It has no battery. Here's a Motorola clutch. Works. No battery, or no, not no battery, but no SIM card for it. A um, Motorola W260G needs a back and battery. Here's another Kyocera Jax, back cover to a flip phone. This weird Alcatel. I have two of these. I don't know what it is, but here's the other one. Both don't work because they need special SIMs. Here is a phone that I lost a back cover to. It's weird. All right. But, um, yeah, this looked like a $1 iPhone 2G. Um, works. It's just dead. Here's this Samsung flip phone. This is a T229. And it works. Just needs a battery. Here's another one of those Samsung, or not Samsung, Sanyo flip phones. This Motorola surprisingly works, just has a bad battery, but even then, like, how can something that looks like this even work? Look at this battery. It's like twisted. What the f- Alright. Never even knew noticed that. Look at all the corrosion in this thing. It is so bad. Here's this Samsung SGHL- well, what is it? An SGHL 760V. Works. Dead. This Samsung flip phone, it's really a piece of garbage. Here's uh, another one of those Sanyo SCP-8100s. Bad LCD, by the way. This thing. Whoa. Let me do that again. Yeah. It works. I got it from Target a while ago. I can't get the back cover off with one hand. But here's this Qualcomm... Or not Qualcomm, Kyocera phone. This one, I can get the back off. And it is a... It is a QCP 2035. And, and it works, but it just needs a new battery. Wait, 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 wait. Dang, I was actually about to, like, touch these two pads together to try and see if it would work, but it won't fit, so... Uh, oof, you know. But yeah. It, um... This is an LG phone... I don't think it works. 
Sorry I have to go through these fast, by the way. I'm running out of time. Gotta go later to a, uh, put in an application for a job, which is great. Um, anyways, this is an SCH A737. It works, but all these buttons don't work, so I can't turn it on to see anything. This is the back cover to that CRT one right there, that one. Here's an, uh, another one of those Nokias I showed in the beginning. This is a Kyocera phone. I don't think it works. I don't have the charger for it, but I don't know. This thing, it's a piece of garbage, has a broken screen. This is a Nokia 6340i. Sorry, it took me a tiny bit to find that. This is a um, Samsung phone. I don't really know what it is. But lastly, in this pile, we have this Nokia. And since it's a Nokia, I'll tell you what it is. It is a 6555B. And it works. It just needs a battery. Here are the next few of some phones. I'm just going to go over them by how I've stacked them. But anyways, first off, we have this LG, actually two of these. Um, that was a pain to get off, but this is an LG VN150S. And it works. Probably dead. And yes, it is. Here we have another one of those. And right here we have two of these Motorola phones. These are W490s, and they both work, but they both need new batteries. Here is a pink Motorola Razr that I will be trying to restore in the future. I need to get a working board or whatever for it. I don't really know, but I need to diagnose it because this one has a broken everything. I don't really know. It sucks, though, because this is, like, mint. But, yeah. Here's this cool Motorola phone. It's the same one that came in those older Mercedes cars that were brand, um, this phone was branded under Mercedes on the front and whatnot, but it's a Motorola 60i, and like I was saying, in your older Mercedes cars that came with phones and whatnot, uh, this is the phone that would, it would come with, or at least one of them, and yeah, it was pretty cool, but yeah, it works. Just needs a new battery. And here's my literal favorite dumb phone of all. The Motorola... The Motorola i90CL. CL probably means color. Because it has a color display. And this thick boy right here... Was promoting its color display. This this display looks like it came straight out of a um, Game Boy Advance. All right, on to the next ones. Here we have this Nokia. Uh, if I can get the back off, it is a 6010 Nokia 6010, and it works, but only slightly. I think it needs a new battery, but I can't really tell. Here's this little LG right here. If I can get the back off as well as the battery, because I think these batteries. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, they're hard to get out, but anyways, it is a VX8300, and this one works. I know it works, and I charged it so I can turn it on. It does have a blown speaker or something, so it sounds kind of tinny when you turn it on. Here's another A660. This one works. It's dead, though. Was going to charge it, but I forgot. <laughs> Sanyo phone. Don't remember. Oh, Sanyo Incognito. And yes, this one works. It has a pretty cool little screen on the front there. Kind of gives that weird little effect right there, you can see. It's cool, though. This is a cool phone, but it's kind of gimmicky. It looks almost like a toy, especially on the back, because they didn't really know where to fit everything. But, um, yeah. Here's another Kyocera. I don't know what this one is, but it works. Might still have service, actually. Here's this Samsung phone. 
I'm not going to name off all these because I just simply don't have the time. It's a GTE 3300L. And it works. It's on Intel. Um, I think this came from another state because Intel isn't even in America. Here is this uh, little weird track phone. Let me turn this off real quick, actually. But anyways, this is a SGH S390G, and this is a weird little phone. It has Wi-Fi, which is odd, especially for a phone from Track Phone, and especially for a phone like this in general. But it works. It's just dead. And here is this Nokia 3390, not 3390, 3360, I think. I don't know. But it works. I'm not going to take out the battery. All right, on to some more. This is an LG VX something, 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 something. I don't know. <laughs> it's a VX5300. It works. has an amazing speaker. I don't know what it is with these older LG phones, but they have some really good speakers. I'll just tell you to listen to the Verizon sound when it turns on, because it's great. I mean, honestly, it does. It has a really good speaker. But, yeah, let's turn that off. Works. This Samsung also has a lock to take off the back, so I can't do that. But it works. This is another LCD variant of that one phone that I had over there. It's dead, unfortunately, and I can't get the back off. But here is the... um black and white variant of it and here is another weirder version oh that was easy all right this is a 3120b and yes it works and it does have a color display over here we have this nokia right here it's in rough shape but it is a 6351b or just 6350 i don't really know but yes, it works. It's dead, for a fact, because I didn't charge it. Here's a Kyocera... Uh, what is this? Kyocera Kona. Works. This is up there with my favorite uh, feature phones. But it's a 6650D, and it works. It has an RGB... Like, literally, it has an RGB keyboard. Which is awesome. It looks really, really cool, actually. And this is basically all metal, except for the sides. But on the front and on the back, it's metal. It's a very, very premium phone. Yeah, it's dead. Here is this one. This is the cool Nokia I was talking about because of this little button right here. And it works. It is a 6133. Sorry if you heard my dogs barking. They're always really annoying. And they bark to everything. It's great. This thing works. It's probably dead, though, so... Yeah. Alright, so here's some more razors. This one works, it just needs a new battery, and it's also pretty badly cracked on the front. Oh, alright. Well, let's see, is that in my hand? No, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> Here is this really cool little LG phone. Oh, do I? Oh, okay, cool. This cracked, unfortunately. But, uh, it's a PM325, and it works, and it's really cool because it has that little slide-out keyboard, which is really cool in my opinion. But let's see, will it turn on? Yes, it will. I think. Yeah, it will. Okay, cool. There it is. Works. Here's another ra uh, bleh, razor. I don't know what in the... Alright, well, that's, like, melted. It's so weird. This one works. Um, it has some swapped parts from another one. Um, but yeah. Let me turn this off, because I don't want it on. Here's an NV2. LG NV2. It works. Here's a LG Chocolate. It also works. And here's an NV1. I don't know if this one's charged, but it does work. And this one came from Target, as well as that one. Okay, this one does not 
have a charge, but this one works, and this one works as well. I need to turn these off, though. Here's this little Nokia. This has a really pain in the butt back to... Wait, does this? Is this the one? I can't remember. Oh, this one isn't the one. Okay, cool. This is a Nokia... Where is the thing? 1616 two seat. And it works. Basically in mint condition, also on T-Mobile. As you see, turns on. Here's this little Nokia. This one does have a pain in the butt back to remove. So I'm not going to remove it, but it works. Here's another one. This one is even worse than anything combined. But yeah, that one works. And here's a really cool Nokia X3. That works. Here is my probably most functioning Motorola uh, Razor. This one works totally fine. It just needs a new battery and a new back cover because this one is garbage. But, yeah, it had an extended battery pack, by the way. It works. Just needs a new battery, like I just said. This is a something, I don't know, but it works. <laughs> Two of my most favorite phones, the Elias 1 and the Elias 2. This one flips up like this and out like this. And I don't think this one has a charge, actually, unfortunately. But, yeah, it does work. This one probably also doesn't have a charge. But it also does work. Alright, next up we have the Samsung Gravities and the Samsung Intensities. This is a Gravity one. It works. I don't think it has a battery in it. And maybe, oh, it does, but it's just dead. So, yeah. These both are Gravity 2s, and the, they both work. Totally fine. Um, they're pretty nice, actually. I love the Gravities. They're really good phones. I don't think this one has a charge, either. Yeah, it doesn't. All right. Well, anyways, um, here are the Intensities. This is an Intensity 1. And it is dead. What a surprise. Here's an Intensity 1 as well. Oh, this one's actually charged. That one works. Here's an Intensity 2. And this one works. This one's a pretty nice phone, too. And here are all of my Blackberries that aren't smartphones. Actually, wait. This can go out, because that technically is a smartphone. But, anyways, um, here we have a T-Mobile Blackberry... I don't know what this is. Oh, it's already on. Alright, that's weird. But it works, surprisingly. It doesn't look like it should at all. It is in such horrible condition, and uh, I don't even know, man. Like, it's it's so bad. It really is. I When I got this, I didn't think it was going to work at all, but you know what? It does, so I think this is also glass, if I'm not mistaken, which is really weird. No, I don't think it is. Well, it depends. I don't really know, but yeah, it's nice, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah, there there's that. This thing is a BlackBerry... I don't even know. It's a BlackBerry... 7105T, and it used to work until it fell and just disintegrated itself up top right here, unfortunately, um, and now it won't turn on at all. I don't know why, because this isn't honestly that bad, but uh, yeah, there's that. Here's this cool little Blackberry that I either need a battery for or the motherboard is messed up, but it is an 8800 doesn't have a camera, which is kind of odd, but it almost looks like a belt buckle. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it's cool, and it's really nice. And um, other than it not detecting a battery, well, it detects a battery, but it says it's the wrong battery. So I don't really know. But anyways, as I was saying, other than that, it is a really nice phone. This is a BlackBerry 8703E, and it works, but this is very messed up on it, um, I would show you, but I don't really feel like getting out the battery, um, but yeah, the scrolling mechanism thing right here, the little scroll wheel, is very messed up on it, so yeah, here's a BlackBerry Curve, this is on T-Mobile, even though it says Verizon, because I put a T-Mobile board from my old BlackBerry Curve into this one, since the housing from this phone was better than the one with the T-Mobile one, anyways, it works, as you can see, and yeah, works totally fine. 
used to be my mom's old phone. Um, she dropped it in a pool, and then the body basically disintegrated itself over time. So, yeah. Here's this thing. It's the same as uh, these right here, so I'll just keep it there. But it works. It's basically mint condition. This is one of the two... What is this? 8320s that I have. And... Uh, this one does not... Yeah, this one does not work. It's very rusty inside, actually. But this one, on the other hand, does work. And it works fine, I think. Except, unfortunately, this one doesn't have Wi-Fi like this one does. Which really sucks. Um, but I guess, oh well. Yeah, there it is. Here's a Blackberry Pearl in blue. Works, but probably dead. Yes, it is. And here's a Blackberry Pearl in pink. And this one also works, but it's also dead. Down here, we have the same phone as that one. It is an 8330, and it, it works. That one works, that one works, this one works, this one works, this one works, but it's very, very, very messed up. But all five of these are the same phones, just different carriers, pretty much. Except they're only Verizon Sprint and then at and I think. Um, no, this one's on Sprint. But, yeah, there's those. And, yeah, now let's get on to the smartphones that don't run Android or iOS. And finally, on to all of my touchscreen phones that are not Android and are not iOS-based phones. So, starting off, we have the BlackBerry Classic. Now, in my review, I said this ran, ran Android, and I was incorrect. This does not run Android. It has an Android emulator, basically, on it. But it still does run an actual BlackBerry OS. But, um, I got really confused because there was nothing online that said it did or didn't run BlackBerry OS, um, and I installed, like, Intuitu Benchmark and stuff on onto it, and it said Android 4.3, so it really made me think that it d did run, 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 uh, that it did run Android, but it doesn't. Um, but yeah, here it is. I don't know why it's, there we go. Yeah, it works fine. It's in basically mint condition, and yeah, it's a really nice phone. I love this thing so much. Next, we have a Microsoft Kin. I don't know what model this is or anything like that. All I know is that it's a Kin, and it's by Sharp, and it's pretty cool. And yes, it does work. I don't know if it has charge on it or not. Um, no, it doesn't. I got this in a trade with Ryan, aka, AKA Tech.yt. Um, it's in really rough shape, but it does work totally fine. So yeah, there's that. I don't know where I keep on getting these. Actually, I have another one right here. Look, three. I used to have four, but I have like three of these weird Wish smartwatches. I don't know how I keep on getting these because I don't even buy them, but I still keep on getting them randomly. I don't know. They all work. But anyways, here we have this AudioVox phone that I forgot to mention um, earlier. It is an AudioVox MVX405A, and it works totally fine. I'm kidding. It needs a charger. Here we have this cool little HTC phone, uh, Verizon... I don't know what the hell... I don't know what this is. It's a, um... There is no model number in there, I don't think. But it's an HTC something. It slides out like this opens up like this, like it's a freaking laptop or something, um, and it's really cool, it runs Windows OS and stuff like that, Windows Mobile, but yeah, here's an LG Rumor Touch, it works totally fine, it's a bit different because instead of it sliding out to the right, like most slide phones do, it slides out to the left, but it's still a really cool phone, um, pretty interesting. Next up, we have a Nokia 710 Lumia, or just, no, Lumia 710, sorry, uh, this one works totally fine. It is very, very badly cracked. Not really, but... Not super, super badly cracked, but it's still pretty badly cracked. Anyways, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You too. You shut up too. This works. It's on Windows OS, or Windows Mobile, like, 8 or something. I don't even know. But it works. It's cool. Here we have this weird thing. I don't even know... Wait, does it say it on the startup? I can't tell. No, it doesn't. No, take the battery out. 
Take the battery out. Okay. It is an SPH M380, and it works, as you can just see. It's odd. The color is pretty odd. <laughs> I mean, this is the only phone I've seen in this type of color. Um, but yeah, it does work. This thing I found in my backyard, I don't even know what it is, because it doesn't say it. So yeah, there's that. Here's an... Shut up. Here's an HTC HD7, and this one works, but it does not... Like, the touchscreen is broken, and it does not have a SIM card as its internal storage anymore, because I took it out. Um, the internal storage on this phone is literally an SD card covered up with a metal sticker. It's really, really weird, but um, I took that out because I wanted it. <laughs> That's the easiest way to put it. Um, so yeah, I'll just part this phone out because I don't need it, and since the touchscreen doesn't work, then I don't really know what to do with it. I already tried repairing it, like, three times, but I couldn't get it to work properly, so yeah. Here we have this little thing. It is so small, and um, it works, but I can't find a proper battery for it. But yeah, it's weird. Here's a Nokia X3. Uh, wait. I thought that was the X3 over there. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is an X3, and that's also an X3. What is this? An X3... X302.5 or something? I don't know. This is just an X300. Okay, alright. So they do have different model numbers. This works. Just needs a battery and a back. Here we have this Samsung thing. It's dead and... Oh, it's not dead. Alright. Well, it's annoying. Blackberry Torch. Works, but has a very, very def defective touchscreen. Thankfully, it does have this trackball thing, though. So I can still use it. Um, but it is, a, it is a cool phone to mess around with. Um, and I really, really want a fully working Torch because I've always loved this phone. But, yeah. There's that. Here we have the Blackberry Storm. And this one also works. Totally fine. This is the one with the button screen. As you can tell. And yeah, there's that. Forgot to mention this. This is a little HTC Windows phone thing. It's dead, and I forgot to charge it. I don't know, it's pretty interesting though. This is a uh, Samsung Bright Side, and it works fine. This is a Palm phone. I don't remember what it is, and I'm running out of time, so I can't really go through it. But it's broken. It's a piece of garbage. Bus bleh, busted LCD. Can't speak. Um, yeah, just overall garbage. Blackberry Bold. 80-something um, hundred, I don't know. But I need to get a new battery for this one, because I really, really, really want this to work. Here's this. This is a HTC 8125 or something like that. Pretty interesting little Windows phone. It has like a Windows XP type thing on the back, but it's still Windows Mobile. But yeah, there it is. It works, it just needs a new battery. Last but not least, we have two phones. We have this one, the uh, Blinder. I don't know what this is. It's an LG, but I took the LCD out and left the backlight in it, so when you turn it on, it gets super, super bright. But of course, it's not going to want to do it right now. Garbage. And, um, as I was saying before, last but not least, we have this Nokia, and since this is the last one, I don't mind taking the back off, because I don't care. It is a Nokia 5231C, and it works. It just has a bad charging port, so, yeah. Anyways, that is going to do it for all of my phones that do not run Android or iOS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and if you like seeing my content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of that content. And yeah, I've got another trade video coming up soon. Um, there's a story to that, which I'll tell you about in that video, but it's a funny story. So yeah, uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.